Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. How are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, why, why did you reveal yourself? Stop it. Okay, so today our mission is still continuing on Duna. We are going to try to land this rover as close as possible to our lander over there. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking just a little bit if we can maybe add a planner like maybe over here to burn retrograde and then have it fall to about 15 14 15 that's fine and we start just a little bit right over here I'm gonna do this just for precision uh, three second burn what we can do is derate this Maybe a six second burn. Yeah. Go. And then, yeah, everything is in place. Everything is in order. Um, by the time we get here, this satellite, we should still have line of sight of that sat. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, so I did quick save here. Um, can I not target you? Thanks. Right, let's uh let's see what we can do. Let's say warp to next maneuver. Let's just keep an eye on Oh yes, we are going to have a connection. Very, very nice. So three second burn. Uh let's say surface targets. Or orbital. Yeah, I think it's gonna be orbital. So you are going to face yourself this way. I uh, just want to see, is there any... Okay, you have your solar panels and everything out. Um, <clears throat> okay. So let's uh, see how this is going and uh, how far are we off. It might not be an issue. Because this is a rover, it's completely autonomous. I think it does have a little um, thing on. Let's do this. Okay, that's fine. Alright. I did quick save before this, just for in case something goes wrong. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do this. Spin ourselves hard this way and Undock. Go. And then point yourself this way. Our electric charge. Be fine. So this whole idea was the shell protects the rover inside. We have uh, a few things that is going to protect us as we go down. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that pushed us up a little. Hopefully that's not an issue. Right, we will just have to see when we hit about up here, about 50k, what happens. We're gonna time warp, there's nothing else we can do. Now this is just all hopes. Uh, I'm thinking we're gonna lose the signal. What we can do, we can always revert back. And then... I think we can still deploy this and have those guys deploy on their own as well. I don't know. We'll see. We have limited probe control. This, it should on its own point into the air. It's time warping us down to 10. It should take the shape of the wind. Oh, there we go. We don't have a connection. Why are you still doing this? Okay. Once it's ready to deploy these chutes, I am going to jettison everything here. I want to see how is our electric charge doing. Okay. 
Now our pieces are going, as we can see. Getting further and further away from us, which is fine. Um, yeah. See, our periapsis should drop at some stage. It's going... We'll see. We'll just have to see. If, if, if we're lucky, we might land around here somewhere, or maybe over here in this general area. And the thing is, is this rover I've designed, it does have a, a probe on. So the probe, this is why we can do these maneuvers and things. Um, if we can land this thing properly, then we should be, we should be golden. Um, and then I can steer around with it as soon as the satellite is over. And it is becoming morning over here. So everything should be good. Getting very low, very low. This is very tense, I gotta say. It's draining electricity, but not much. I don't think this heat affects or anything. I don't think the shell was needed for anything at all except for liftoff. But I just wanted a shape that can help with the um, aerodynamics to point us in the correct... I just say don't... Yeah, just stability assist. As you can see, it's not even doing anything. There's a quite a few shoots on here, but not as much as we had on the lander. Um, so this thing might come down with quite a speed. Hopefully... Oh, look at our periapsis. It's already... On 5k. Very, very nice. Doing good. Yeah, I'd, I don't mind like what... Um, uh, if we land over here, over here, or over here. As long as it's close to the lander over here, then I would be very happy. Very, very happy. I mean, I could have, with that other stage, uh, adjusted our inclination or somehow just get ourselves to be tar targeting this thing properly, like properly over it. What I can do is unset as target. Where are we? We're still quite a ways up. But the speed is dropping a little. It should not be too bad to drive to there. Luckily, we have a marker. And I can just go ahead and drive to there if need be. Yeah, I think we might land like somewhere here-ish. That's very mountainous. It looks like a lot of mountains, hills and things. Uh, it, it might be a, a good thing. It might not. Our velocity is going down. Our altitude is dropping. Um, it's unsafe to deploy our drogues, but as soon as they are safe to deploy, I'm going to open up the, the shell, the shell casing. And jettison everything. And we're burning off a few, a little bit more speed. Doing very well. Very, very well. That would be ideal. We'd be in an ideal place. And then we'd be a good place. And then we'd be a bad place. I mean, the hills and the mountains and things look is already like a bad place. But as we can see, we're still quite a way, ways away from the planet. The surface of the planet. So, yeah. All is well. Wow, that was interesting. And it is becoming dark. And we don't have a connection to anything at all. all right. Just waiting. Just waiting for these shoots. As soon as it shows it's ready to deploy. Ah, there we go. And stage. Uh... 
And I forgot, I have to do something with these guys. Uh, minimum pressure, maximum altitude. Minimum pressure. Minimum. Uh, and minimum. Okay. And then this one as well, minimum pressure. Deploy. Everything is ready. We're getting awfully close to the ground. Otherwise, this uh, poor Kerbal is stuck on this. Oh, please work. Please, please, please work. Are wheels damaged? Uh oh. That's not fair. Okay, there we go. Um, stability assist, you can be off now. There we go. Uh-oh, our wheels do not look good. And uh, we are nose heavy. What happens if we say spread angle smaller? Can we do something like that? Uh, we cannot really control, but it's a uh, stability assisting. Okay, I think this might be a big fail. Damn it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I should have put more shoots here at the front or something. Maybe down here-ish? Because I didn't think this would be so heavy. Because the, the weight, I did check the weight of this thing, and it showed the weight was like where this parachute is. It didn't show that this was the heaviest. Could I have been wrong? I could I do something about it while we're here. We are going down quite fast. Yeah, I think this thing is, is done for, eh? Oh, damn it. That's not a good speed. Could have been more shoots. Ay ay ay. Well, maybe what I can try to do is redesign this thing, send another ship, and hopefully. But the optimal window is not. Well, not optimal. I mean, that's so damn well. Look at that. We say it says off. Can we extend these to in increase res air resistance? Oh my goodness! I just gave me a bit of a fright. Frickin' hell! Hmm. Okay, uh, well, since we know this thing is lost, what I'm going to do is cut this. Can we get you to do this a little? Okay, okay. We cut this one. Um, that one, right angle, can we enlarge you? Yeah, no, this is, this is still going too fast. Uh, 
Now what I will do is just probably have uh, two more drogue shoots here at the front. One over here and one over here. See, the thing is they're quite large. Yeah, and I think the fairing damaged this thing. I think. Can I say it's off? Will you... Do this. Hopefully. I mean, land on the damage wheels, it's fine. Rings. Uh... Like hard. Uh, hard, hard. But not too hard, maybe. Maybe a little bit less. But maybe a two. Just trying to think of ways to dampen this. Oh, it's symmetrical. But we are coming down at 13 meters a second. <sighs> Will these guys hold these wheels? Let's do the same for the. These guys at the back. Uh, two. And that. I don't know. We will have to see. Coming down. 13 meters a second. Looks like flat ground. This might work. It's still too fast. Look how fast this is. It's gonna pop. Oh my goodness, it worked. Oh my, it worked. Oh my goodness, it freaking worked. Okay. Can you? Okay, you cannot drive anyway. So we're going to just park you here. What I'm going to do is fast forward time a little. Here we go. We have a signal. We have electric charge. Um, reaction wheel. We can toggle you off. You drive. Target's over there. I think you can drive. The wheels are busted up, but... Maybe? Maybe this will work? Now I wish I brought two people. One for one is like an engineer to help fix things. Okay. But we done it. We we got a rover on Mars. I think Elon would be very proud of me. Not that he's gonna watch these videos though, but still. These wheels are just very slippery, though. I guess we're going this way. And those front wheels are not working, so there's a lot of traction that's going on there. The best thing I think I can do is actually... Brake. And go in reverse. Drive like this. I think this would be better. I can't believe these wheels are freaking damaged. It sucks, man. But, uh, yeah, 50 kilometers to go. Which is actually quite a uh, distance to go. Uh, all right, that's 
That's that, I guess. We've landed a rover on Duna. Now, what I'm going to do in the background is I'm going to science the crap out of this planet. Um, that's the whole reason for the um, satellite with the this exact same uh, Probodobodyne Octo 2, which has Kerbinate access, which can show me it's not going to do anything here, but it is showing me all the biomes where I, where I am in, or where it's facing downwards on. So, uh, yeah. And it's got an antenna, and it's got a bunch of science. Yeah, I think this is good. Alright, people. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.